In this jump demonstration, we'll see how to use bubble plots to visualize multidimensional data. We're working with the SAT by year dataset in the sample data library. A bubble plot, like this one, is a form of scatter plot in which the points are represented by circles or bubbles, which can vary in size and color to incorporate additional information into the graph. Here we have a plot of students' scores on the Scholastic Aptitude Test, in the Verbal by Math sections on the Y and X axes, and each bubble represents performance in a different geographic region in the United States. The size of each bubble represents the population of that region, and the bubble's color represents the percentage of students in that region who took the test. Bubble plots can also be animated to show changes across time. Here we see all bubbles generally exhibiting a shift towards the upper right corner, showing that scores are generally increasing over time. To create this plot, we'll go to Graph, Bubble Plot. The X and Y roles will specify the X and Y axes of our plot. We'll use SAT Math and SAT Verbal. We'll place region into the ID role to tell Jump that we want one bubble for each geographic region. Here, we'll also place state into the ID role. We'll see in a moment how this allows us to break each region bubble out into its individual states. We'll place year into the time role to allow for animation. And finally, we'll place population into the sizes role and percent taking into the coloring role. When we click OK, we're presented with our bubble plot. Under the red triangle, we'll find a number of different options to further customize our plot. Here, we'll go down to Label and select All so that the region labels are placed on each bubble. In the bottom left corner, we have a variety of controls. The bottommost slider, Bubble Size, allows us to change the size of the bubbles. And the rest of the controls are related to the animation. We can press the Play button to play the animation of the bubbles across time, and we can control the speed of the animation with the Speed slider. If we prefer, we can manually advance forward or backward in time using the Fast Forward or Rewind buttons or the Year slider at the top. If you recall, we placed both Region and State into the ID role. If I select one of the regions, let's say the Plains region, and click the Split button, this will split that bubble out into each of its constituent states. If we'd like to recombine these into the single planes bubble, we can press the Combine button. Note that this plot can be exported so that people can view and interact with it outside of Jump. We'll go to File, Export, and choose Interactive HTML. This will create an HTML file that anyone can open and interact with in their web browser. We're using Jump on a Mac right now, but if you use Windows, you have the option of saving a bubble plot animation as a GIF file using the Record and Save buttons that you'll find in the lower left corner of the bubble plot window.